You don't have to watch Rene Hernandez for long to know that he loves it at Strickland. <laughs> Which is interesting because as the school psychologist, Rene sometimes has to deal with things that aren't pleasant. It's not easy. <laughs> um, I think any, anybody who works in education will tell you that there are days that are harder than others in our work. Um, there's a definite challenge to hearing some of the things come out of a kid's mouth, you know, an 11 or 12 year old talking about some of the things that they've been through, uh, some of their experiences are absolutely gut wrenching. Um, and so, you know, that's not the highlight of, of my job, that, that's hard. But Renee deals with the hard very well. So well that he was recently named the Outstanding School Psychologist of the Year by the Texas Association of School Psychologists. He won that award because he's always doing extra. Things like starting an anime club and peppering the foundation grant list to provide special experiences for the kids at Strickland. If Renee sees a need, he does something about it. It's who he is. Um, and he, he wants the best for the kids and he knows that we work at a campus that has a lot of need. Um, he doesn't shy away from it. He, he wants to be the one who really helps turn some of these kids around. Um, by the nature of his job, he works with some very high needs kids. Um, and he wants to see him succeed. Life doesn't stop when the kids leave the building. And so in a lot of ways, I try to maintain good, healthy boundaries, right? You know, work stays at work, home stays at home, but also there's an extent in which, you know, when I have free time, I think about what else could we be doing? What other little things are our options for us? Uh, you know, our, our mandate is to work with kids on what is going to help them get through their school day. But of course, all of us who are in mental health want the best possible outcome for our kiddos. So we, we push a little more to try to get them maybe just a couple more skills, a little bit more healing that might help them you know in the long run. The long run is always on Renee's mind. And that turns the things he does for the kids at Strickland into more of a calling than a sacrifice. In public education, you, you take what comes through the door and sometimes those days are harder than others. But even on the hard days where I kind of question my life choices that got me here, I come out of that and I say, you're here for a reason. This is, this is it.